Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the users of free accounting software to show you guys how to set up your email so that you can email direct from the software to to other people. Um, I've logged in and I've got a few businesses set up here. Um, I'll demo using this um, one which is a um, business that is hosted on Bassoff. So that's that's uh, hosts on Bassoff and there is and you know for example this one is a locally um, stored file with the email setup it doesn't matter which one it is the process is the same and it will email it from your computer um, regardless of it being hosted on our server the advantage of that is it's going through your email server and will be less likely to be treated as spam because if it comes from our email server they'll say hey you're a different party um, you know and um, think that that is uh, um, you know someone sending an email from who they they're not who they say they are um, so to set up your email you go to edit FAS identity and click this thing it says set up outgoing email server now these are the same parameters you need to, to put in if you're setting up your your desktop email. Um, you've got your server name, the port, that would be the outgoing email port. We're not doing anything to receive um, emails here. Username, um, I've got my, I'm setting up my Gmail account here. This is, uh, I've got the, also the at gmail.com at the end of it. I think that is necessary um, and I've put my password in okay uh, there is a note here for Gmail and it might apply to other um, other things as well um, that by default Gmail will not allow just a username and password login uh, and this software will only do a username and password login so we have to change a setting in Google to to allow that to happen okay um, and actually I'll just show you how to how to enable that now so I've got my Gmail open here um, at the top right there is a link to my Google account it's got a um, sort of picture of me there and that's sort of how I looked about 10 years ago um, and you click this link here to manage your Google account. On that page, there's some options on the left, and we need to go to the security option. And then scrolling down, there is a thing here that says less secure app access. So we need to turn that on for this to work and I've already set it to on um, and I, it's just a simple toggle on or off um, setting um, they call it less secure app access and I think the way they normally work is that when you when you want to log into an or when when you want to connect an app to your Google um, normally that app redirects you to the Google website you log in there then it redirects you back you normally don't just put your password into that other software and it directly connects using the username and password um, so keeping in mind that um, you know this is your Google account that you're putting this setting on you might decide you don't want to do that and I and I think probably the best thing to do is actually to just go and register a domain like um, for your business and get some email hosting and there's email hosting that's you know pretty cheap now so I really think that's the way to go here rather than actually connect to your Gmail um, but you know Gmail is is um, uh, widely used uh, so I'm just demoing this okay now back to the software um, you can sort of add some other stuff in this um, in this email signature 
and do some formatting and then save it okay back to my uh, business list there and then into one of the businesses in the sales worksheet I have some um, invoices here so on the invoice page there is a link to the email and the um, and you can fill in the email there there's the email signature that I just set up a bit of a default email um, message now the to email is the to email address comes from the setup of the counterparty um, I haven't put an email on that so I'll just um, put the uh, put my own email in there so just for the demo purposes the from email comes from the outgoing email setup so that is you know it doesn't matter what business you you're working with the from email is from your FAS identity so so it's going to be the same um, for all any, any business you're working with and that's because that that is yeah your 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 account that you're using to send the email okay and then if everything's set up when you click send email it will just go through you might get an error message and hopefully that would point you in the right direction of how to fix that um, okay now going back to my email I've got a message there and that's the message I just sent and the invoice is attached okay that's that's really all there is to setting up email in Fast 3 Desktop I did have one question which I thought was a good one which is um, if the software is storing my password you know is that secure and um, you know so uh, it stores your password in the FAS identity file so I've browsed to that file over here and that's the file there and it's in there um, and I've just sort of deconstructed that file there so that I can show you and it's stored in this outgoing mail server part of that file it, that is encrypted so the same way that um, your mybusiness.fas file is encrypted um, and you know if you open it up that's what it looks like uh, shouldn't really be possible for anyone to get any information out of that um, so the password is stored pretty securely and shouldn't be any issues alright well thanks for watching hope this video has been um, useful